Hi everyone, on this topic we'll talk about Delta B3A attached P uh, means a Profinet uh, servo drive connect with a uh, Siemens uh, POC uh, via Profinet. So the system architecture will use a uh, Siemens S7 1200 uh, as a uh, master and we assign the IP address uh, 192.168.1.20 and for B3A dash P uh, super drive the IP address will be 0.1.30 and we'll move to the Siemens uh, TI portal settings okay so first of all we select the POC model as mentioned like here we select a uh, 1212 and uh, select the correct uh, firmware version and then uh, this part will up to your uh, inquiry uh, so you can select a different setting but here just uh, for your example so we will now select a protect a password and also select a full SX okay next uh, we have to uh, import the gsdml file so basically now you cannot download these two files at the moment so you can request from Delta Electronics Industrial Automation Team and then you can create a folder and you can use an ename Okay, so after that, you just put these uh, two folder inside. Uh, the reason why we took, uh, put these two uh, files because of some uh, TI portal version, then maybe you cannot untick some uh, uh, IRT part. So that's the reason. Okay, so here, uh, just remember we have uh, two files. And then uh, we can go to option, then uh, select the uh, manage the GSD. Then we click this one and select the folder. After that, uh, we can install. Uh, we can uh, click which uh, GSDML file you want to install. And then after uh, this one uh, finish the installation, then you will update the uh, catalog. Uh, next, we'll move to uh, create the Profinet. Uh, so after you install the uh, GSDML file, so you can find this one under the uh, other field device and you can find this one inside the drive so uh, once you click and double click this one b3a-p so you will show uh, pump up and create here so uh, this one basically you must go to the device and network first and then we can establish the network so once finish you will show like this and the next step we have to install the library so this library also you have to download from uh, Siemens uh, website so first of all we will uh, click the library then we click the import and then we can select the file type after that we select the uh, library that you download from uh, Siemens website and then select uh, op uh, click open then select the folder after that uh, you will see you will open uh, Pump up the open library, then you can click uh, upgrade. So after the process done, you will see inside the library will also uh, this uh, drive library for uh, Siemens POC. So after that, uh, what we have to do, we go to the uh, B3A-P, then uh, you can see this one is under the device view. Uh, device view. Then uh, we can double click uh, this one. So after that, you will see uh, it show the uh, Profinet module AC. And then uh, today's example, uh, we will delete the default Telegram one. So uh, just remember, move here and delete. And after that, we can add on uh, Telegram uh, three, standard Telegram three. And uh, today's example, we will use uh, technology objects as example. So. Uh, after that, uh, please uh, remember to add on uh, one new object. And for the motion control, uh, uh, we will use the version five, and then I'll uh, give the XX name. Uh, give the name as a uh, XX underline one. Okay. After that, we have to do some basic setting for the drive. So here you will see we will change the setting from PTO to Profinet. So you will pump up uh, this message. And after that, uh, you have to go here and select. Um, okay, so it's under drive. Then we click this one, select the drive as a B3A-P. So remember, if you did not uh, uh, create the telegram over here, so basically here you cannot select. Okay, 
So after that, uh, we just select this one and then keep the default setting. Then next will be the encoder. Then here's some basic settings. Okay, next we will go back to the profit net, uh, network. So we do have to set up the IP address for Siemens POC and the profit net uh, super drive. So we set the uh, 0.20 and the 0.30. And inside uh, Siemens uh, setting, uh, okay, so for the S7 uh, 1200, this one basically support only real time. Uh, so we have to uh, untick uh, by Sarkner's uh, uh, real time. So we untick uh, this mode. And then remember also need to untick this too. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, for some uh, TI portal version, maybe you cannot untick. So uh, if you cannot untick, so just remember go to the uh, general and then uh, change the version uh, as I mentioned earlier uh, over here. Okay. So next step, we will create the POC. Uh, we will go back to the uh, MEM uh, program. And then here we will use a POC open function block. So today's example is just quite simple. We will use the MC power, MC move velocity. And then after uh, do all the settings, then we just uh, do the compile, then uh, go online and download the program. After that, we can switch online, then uh, you can uh, use a, a servo on, and then uh, use a MC move velocity to control the servo. Final thing I want to remind here uh, for B3A-P, uh, if you use the Telegram 3, then uh, at the moment, please uh, use uh, this uh, firmware version or the onward versions. So now I will switch to the uh, drive. So this one, as you can see, this is the firmware version. And then the status is server off. And then we can uh, switch to the TIL portal. Uh, so I won't uh, start from scratch. So here, uh, just double click inside and show you the settings. So as you already know, we will set IP address uh, as a 0.1.20. After that, we can go back and then I'll go to B3A-P. So here you can see we also set IP as a uh, 0.1.30 and then we can uh, Isaacness uh, setting as mentioned so we have to untick uh, this uh, Isaacness mode and then also make sure these two uh, slots uh, untick, untick so if you still remember uh, please make sure you already select this one uh, then I will go to the POC program part so you will see here we will use the uh, MC power, MC reset in case uh, there is some alarm, then uh, MC move velocity, and definitely uh, you can use other uh, function. Uh, next will be the technology object. So as mentioned, you can create a new uh, objects. So after that, we have to do some settings. So here you can check uh, either the function view or per, uh, parameter view. Okay, and then we can uh, uh, this one as I mentioned for the general settings. So we go to the drive, then uh, select the Profinet drive. Okay, then uh, next will be the encoder. So here we select the encoder on drive, then uh, this one set to uh, A192. And actually, you can also do some uh, simple uh, uh, diagnosis and uh, commissioning over here. So uh, once you switch online, then you can check the status and also can do some uh, job uh, or movements uh, under commissioning. OK, now we will uh, switch online. OK, so here you can see we can uh, go to the diagnosis and click uh, this icon, monitor all. You can check the status is uh, standstill and the uh, constant velocity because the previous uh, settings. And you can also check the drive uh, status 
uh, control word and uh, status word. Then you can go to double click the commissioning. So uh, if you try to do some uh, commissioning, I mean job over here, you can uh, activate the function first. And next you can click enable. So this one means you will go sub one and then you can do some uh, settings. So here we have some uh, different command like a job positioning and homing. Okay. And if you still remember that uh, we can actually check the uh, device on the network so uh, we can just uh, uh, double click this one so it will show the device that uh, connect to this network okay and now we will go back to the program part and then we can uh, switch online so we maybe I back to here and uh, disable first Okay, then deactivate. Then we can back to the program. So now what we have to do is uh, sub on. So just double click this one, and then we can go back and check the servo. So now we switch to the eyes uh, Asta stop. So you can see now the status is sub on, and then we can uh, open the scope. Okay, so here we can select the motor speed uh, RPM real time. Okay, so now we can uh, run the scope. And then uh, go back to the POC parts. So here we will keep the value as uh, 0 0.1 and then we can uh, double click this one cargo value to true. So the server will start to move. So you will see now the uh, speed will keep uh, increase. So we maybe I untick the reverse part. Then we can uh, run the scope again. So you will see the uh, speed will keep increasing until uh, reach the target uh, velocity. So that's all for today's topic. Thank you.